welcome to my in-depth review of Avatar The Way of Water. Fishies. <laughs> Today's podcast will be longer than the movie. No. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Uh, welcome to AmityCast. Today we'll be talking about Avatar The Way of Water. We just saw it, to, we just saw it today. Um, sorry we're a week late <laughs> of the release. You were supposed to see it last week. Yeah. Things got sidetracked, though, as the usual happens. Um, but yeah, probably what will end up being... The, the, the film. The film of the year. It probably will be the film of the year as far as hype goes. It, it might end up surpassing Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick ended up grossing a lot. I assume this will probably pass it, though, as that, far as gross. Did that make over a billion? Yeah, it did. It did? I Jesus believe so. Christ. Top Gun 2 made a billion dollars. It's the 11th highest grossing film of all time. That's sad. The I also 11th. haven't seen it, so. I have seen it. I haven't seen either one of them. I like it better than this one, spoiler alert. But, uh, so, yeah. Um, it finally got made. Yeah. It was a little surreal. It's finally here. sitting in the theater. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was kind of weird. Like, wow, this is the sequel to Avatar. <laughs> I remember seeing Avatar when I was six. Vaguely. I remember owning I it. Six I remember owning, old. like, the DVD set or whatever. Yeah. Like, every single, like, version of that movie is just, like, ginormous. I know. They had, like, just... like, five hours of bonus features, and there's, like, an extended cut. Right. <laughs> and there was, like, Blu-rays, DVDs. It's just massive. Avatar, obviously, one of the biggest films ever. Um, why, I still not don't a bad movie. Really it's just understand. not... Just average. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. With really good effects. Right. Well, that's the whole selling point. James Cameron's point. directing, so... Yeah, that, that's the whole selling point, is the effects, and the director of Ali- got... Aliens, T2, Titanic... <laughs> So yeah. then it's like, and like, yeah, it, it looked amazing. I mean, I would put Avatar on par with films from today, like regular films for the most part, because it looks incredible, especially for 2009. You look at like the Marvel movies this year, like even Avatar the first one looks better. Yeah, like, yeah. and that is, and it deserves credit for that. That is very impressive. Uh, but also, the visuals of a movie will always be, at, will always be a vessel to translate the story and the writing of a movie, so that's kind of important also acting and characters and all that stuff so uh all in all i enjoy avatar but it's not like it kind of bites off more it can chew more than it can chew in a lot of ways except for visually which it succeeds completely so it's like it's it's like a high six close to a seven i'd probably give it a six though we talked about a little bit last week uh we didn't talk about as much as i as we'd planned i don't think but um yeah i still need to watch it yeah and then, uh, so now there's this one. This one's fresh in our minds. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Fishy. <laughs> Fishies. <laughs> Much more so. The letterbox reviews have been great. I love the um, ocean sequences. Those are all really cool. They look incredible. Like, it's the best looking water effects probably ever in a movie, which is, like, the main selling point. Like, arguably the best character arc in this whole movie was a literal whale. Yeah, <laughs> like a talk because he's a fucking whale. Like a fucking talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it, when I got when he like when they were like communicating back and forth, I got to the moment I was like, dude, wait, what what is going on? And then they made it a plot point, so it was kind of okay. I was just like, what is this? <laughs> it's like, come on, what is happening? I don't remember in the first movie if they could talk to animals. <laughs> yeah, what? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. The creature designs of both these movies are really unique. But they, yeah, they feel very otherworldly. They feel very. They actually you know, look a lot better than the cat people. Yeah. Who I don't care about. Very true. I just want a nature documentary of this place. Can we just get that? I mean, yeah, that, I think that's what would be good. <laughs> instead of... Donate gen- a plot. Instead of generic... Family Bloated plot. plots, like what? Uh, so I guess the setup for this one, instead of being a romance, since, you know, they're together... It's a family movie. Uh, they have a family, they have, like... F- it's like ten years later? Yeah, probably. But then there's, like, a one year later thing? It's probably, like... Cl- because the kids seem like teenage year... So probably, so probably like ten years, like ten fifteen years, and then there's another year because there's a time skip at the beginning. Um, they have three kids of their own, including a bit of a younger one, and then they ha- adopted, and, the and then they human? have an adopted kid who was, uh, which I guess that'll be a big plot point. Oh wait, no, the that was Weaver. Yeah, it's but a, then they also had the literal human. Yeah, but then the, the villain's but then kid. There's also the human. Uh, yeah, the villain's kid who he had to stay there. In the first movie at all. Yeah, who had to stay there because he was a baby, so he couldn't be transported. So he was like a human living amongst the Navi, uh, basically like a Navi. Uh, and then the villain comes back as one. Yeah, which was kind of cool. Right. I thought he had a 
probably he's probably the most interesting human yeah. character. I mean, I guess I guess before we get into spoilers, I guess we can do that later. Him crushing he, his own skull was kind of yeah, that was, was kind of uh, uh, metal. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty, <laughs> was like, Jesus. pretty dope moment. Um, he's good at villains, especially like introducing them. Yeah, he is pretty good with that. This um, is not like T two or Aliens though. No, this is nearly top the first one because I was really hoping he would. Right. Pull through. Right, yeah. Maybe he'll do a Titanic 2. What if he did that? He's like, I'm going to do Titanic 2. I swear. If he's like, I've also been working on Titanic 2, that's why it took so long. The last 15 years. Don't know where the story would go, considering that, you know, like everyone's the dead. Titanic sank. That's the story. <laughs> did you see that fake trailer a while ago about how, like, Jack, like, is, like, frozen? And he, but he, so, he's <laughs> the, so he's the same age, but it's right after, like, Rose dies, and so he's just, like... So it's not even he, a boat. He, he has to live life as like a person who was frozen in the 1920s. So it's just Captain America. 1910s, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> but he's like just but, a little chilling. But he's just a guy. It was it was like a fake. It was like a concept trailer. It was pretty bad. Anyway, so it reminds me of uh, Kong Skull Island when they actually ex- have John C. Riley's character live and they have a little montage at the end where he just. Goes uh, home, and oh, his wife's yeah. like, "You've been dead for like thirty years." <laughs> yeah. and he's like, "I want to watch some fucking Cubs, bro." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> um, no, but yeah. So then, uh, the same villain, same antagonist. He's coming back, and also the same um, other antagonist. I don't, I don't. It's really, the first really. It's, it's you're supporters. just getting the same movie with some updates. That's. For the most part, what it is. Which is weird that it took him 13 years. 13 years, yeah. I know it got delayed a little bit because of COVID. Yeah. But they, like, filmed this, like, four years ago still. Right, so One of the actresses was like, I thought this didn't even come out. Or, like, nobody watched it because, like, it's been so long. (laughs) Which also, I guess, so James Cameron got COVID, so he couldn't... Even go to the premiere. Go to the premiere of, like... like, longest developed film. Of probably his second biggest film for him, I would assume. Behind what? I mean, Avid, the first one. I, I don't know if I, you, I don't know if you consider like his first Terminator his like big. Yeah, I mean Piranha Two, the spawning's pretty big deal. But I remember, said he was like almost homeless before he made Terminator. Yeah, because nobody wanted to make his movies because they were too weird. Right, this is a weirdo. He is a weirdo. I hope he comes back in South Park soon. There's Stup- a lot of jokes now. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be that'd actually be a great idea for season twenty six. <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> Because he's like, because his because his character is like a cocky asshole in the show, but then like he's always, but he's right and he does the right thing, but he's it's, so it's kind of kind of how James Cameron actually, yeah. He's kind of weird though, yeah. Especially with some of his picks for his subordinates. Yes, like when he picked Tim Miller to bring back Terminator, and then it was somehow worse than every other thing that done a Terminator. <laughs> yeah, like and James somehow. Cameron was like, I produced this. <laughs> James Cameron's back. <laughs> Arnold is back. Please delete this. Yeah, big big Jim Cameron. He's a he's director. He di- he's he part of the screenplay, not just him. And he also he also serves as editor for both of these movies. He fucking loves the ocean. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> Piranha Two: The Spawning is a big um, indicator of that. Which is a little concerning if each movie is just gonna be like a different thing, different environments. Yeah, because. I guess I don't know how we this is just found f- out apparently there was supposed to be a space battle sequence. I don't know how this is gonna be five movies. Um, it's al- it's already drawn out. So which we'll, we'll, and the when third I get into one's the already my, nine hours. <laughs> yeah, when I get into my flaws with it, how how he submitted a nine hour cut for the third one, I don't understand. And then how that's supposedly the third one to him. So there's more after that. How is there more story to tell? Like how are you doing? Because what four, the fourth one's already partially filmed. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the scripts up to five are done. Yeah, at least up to four. Yeah, and then six and seven are also like planned. I yeah. guess we'll know in like six years. I feel like he's literally gonna die like filming Avatar seven, and then this <laughs> they're gonna bring in like fucking <laughs> just no name. What's his face to finish his legacy? JJ Abrams. No, just bring in JJ Abrams. <laughs> Soft reboot. No, according to James Cameron, it would take a, a year to be his apprentice, this and it, it would have to be a season. Of, it would have to be a season director for multiple years before that. Prior to that, I wish John Carpenter did that with Halloween. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of a bit of an ego on that guy, but I mean, I mean, he, he's I he's been earned. a good he's been a good director, and he's made a lot of money. So like he can, I guess he can kind of just say what he wants in some in some respects. Uh, is, I don't think he's ever done anything to be directly just a jerk. He's not, like, an actual bad person. He's just kind of cocky, which is fine. 
I think I was like 60. He's pretty old. He's getting up there. I assume... I don't think he's super old yet, so probably like 60s. I was going to say, is he going to retire before he finishes? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, because apparently with like, if there was a 6 and 7, he would like pass it on to a different director. I don't know. But like, who would actually be... 68. 68. And he wants to do three more of these. That will be another 10 years. It's going to be like 80 before this is even like... Done. Yeah, so when Avatar 5 comes out, it'll be like 73. When, when he released the first Avatar, he was, what? he was like fucking... 55. 55. Yeah. That's a lot of time. He's also Canadian. Yeah. What's his net worth? Way too much, probably. Oh my god, I, look, I actually looked up his spouses, and there's like five results. Wait, seriously? There's five different spouses. Oh my god. From 78 to 84, 85 to 89, 89 to 91, 97 to 99 since 2000. Why is this little one that sticks? <laughs> what? <laughs> you always see that with like Wait, celebrities. Wait, Hamilton? He was buried to live in Hamilton. Yeah. I didn't know that one. I didn't know it only lasted two years, but... <laughs> only lasted two years. Yeah, because that was the thing. He's like, oh no, I gotta work with her on this new Terminator. And it was just fucking worthless. Because it was terrible. I mean, I... You always notice that with celebrities, like they'll be married like six times in their life, and like the first five are all like a year, and like the eighties, and then they'll all marry. Have their own kids. And and that yeah, <laughs> yeah like they'll, have a, they'll, they'll have a kid with one each one, and then they'll get married to someone in like the nineties and be married for thirty years, unless you're Danny DeVito and they've like been like married to the same woman for fifty years. Bojack, it's like once you get famous, you just stay young, like your brain. Apparently, his net worth is seven hundred million dollars. Just him. That's absurd. I mean, he's the director of two of the three highest grossing films of all time. Yeah, he's, he's, he directed. It's them. crazy to think that Titanic was the highest grossing film of all time. Then his next film was Avatar, which became the next highest grossing film of all time. Now, Avatar Titanic. two was made six hundred million in two weeks, which, <laughs> which is, is like crazy. Infinity War numbers. I feel. Yeah, for this movie, it was like I was talking to a lot of people, and almost everyone I knew, even non movie fans, they were like, "Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to see it." And I just wanted to know why. So I was asking... There wasn't everybody. a lot of marketing either. There was like... No. Only a few trailers. It was weird. They actually... Uh, I was watching a theory video about it because it wasn't something that was talked about a lot on social media, but like it's still one of those hyped up films of the year. It's just like kind of a weird thing to talk about, but... Um, so I asked uh, all of them why, and um, 80% of them were just saying that they wanted to follow with the story. 20% were just... Who remembers the story? Exactly. That's, my thing. That's, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. Wondering. It's 13 year gap. That's what's why it's so weird. I just remember like the. Fight Maybe it's the build up effect. I don't know, but and like, now I, we, I feel like the only thing I remember about this movie is all the oceans parts and like some of the final battles. I wa- cool. I watched it today. That's all I remember. Yeah, I remember the bad parts, and that's even Ali was like, it happened. Yeah, I liked it. Right, but it just happened. <laughs> I mean, I I enjoyed it. I didn't. I don't like the main character. I mean, I'm a Sam sh- Worthington's like the worst main character. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. And like, his voiceovers are so annoying. I hate them. It was the, going on for like I was getting a little worried because it was like a 50 minute like narration for a little bit. I know. I was like, dude, I just watched the first movie like 10 years ago. Yeah, I did. I, just... I don't remember it anyway. <laughs> Why are you reminding me? <laughs> he really thought he was trying to hammer up. The dialogue's pretty bad. Uh, that's one of my flaws, which I don't. Like. And I mean, it's weird because he's usually good with dialogue. Yeah. Maybe it's because these are people in bowcap suits for like. Sweating for hours. Right. Um, if you can get Arnold Schwarzenegger to give a good performance playing a robot who like is talking about how he can't cry, yeah, and like makes this really compelling stuff, and he's just like this, <laughs> this, 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 yeah. So like, I um, watched vi- it too visually, now. it's really good. It's stunning. It looks great. It has good effects. Sexually, um, not every effect is perfect, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um. But like based on the standards that we have here, like this is pretty darn good. This is this is like about. You can as tell well. he really blew a lot of his VFX to try to make like the sea stuff look okay. That some of the land stuff looked really bad. Yeah. Some of the like the weird looking black animal, like I guess it looked like gel. I was like, what is that? You noticed it too. Oh you yeah. Out, I was like, that looked really bad. <laughs> Jeez, the movie's kind of forgettable. Yeah, I forgot that happened, and I was like, that didn't look very good. But <laughs> some mean, of the kids look a little weird, like their body proportions. Yeah, that's still my thing with like motion capture. It's just like. Weird. It's just weird. I don't know. It, like Sigourney Weaver playing that girl really f- was off putting me. She all sounded movie. old. Yeah, and was... then I guess she like was method acting by going to like literal high- middle schools and just like sitting in their classrooms. What? Did you not hear about this? <laughs> no. What? She's like, since I'm playing like an eight year old, I really had to like go back into the mind. <laughs> what? I did not know that. No, I didn't hear about that. I was like you fucking weirdo. Oh, <laughs> uh, Sigourney. 
Uh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> you were an alien. Come on. You were an alien three. Yeah, Scorny Weaver went to high school classes to prepare for her avatar, the way of water roll. <laughs> <laughs> How is going to a, like a human high school class going to prepare you to play a alien teenage character? She's seventy three and she had to portray a fourteen year old. Yeah, that's what I mean. Scorny yeah. Weaver's older than James Cameron. <laughs> that's crazy. I wonder if it says anything she did. She went as far to study teenagers in person during high school classes, just staring at them, just like staring at kids, like taking tests. <laughs> Scorny Weaver's just in the classroom. <laughs> like one kid's like, "Oh, I love you. I love you, an alien." <laughs> You were great in Ghostbusters. <laughs> I mean, your voiceover in Finding Dory was impeccable. She went there just to hear their voices. Just What? She had children? <laughs> I feel like she's had to have children. <laughs> she, she worked with the nude. You, you know how children are. Oh, man. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, that was off-putting. Um... Overall, the whole family dynamic is just, like, it's just weird because, like, we went from the movie with, like, the romance to then now they have, like, five kids, <laughs> like, all together. It's, like, kind of crazy. There's, like, no marriage just because they just seem like... I, I don't know anything about his wife. She's, like, such a nothing character. I know. I like, mean, her, her main, she, she, she's explored... The only cool thing was, like, the villain kept seeing her arrows. And I was, like, just, like... Yeah. She isn't explored very much in this movie. And then not even really... He is. He's just like the protector, and it's like because he's like he's like he's like the protagonist, but also like not really because a lot of focus is on the kids, like a lot. It's so ridiculous. And then but one that's of the thing dies. because there's it, it's such a loaded plot, and that, I think that's why because he long, waited so long. It's now why it's such to, like, a long cover movie. What's been happening? Right, and and they have to like bounce back, and they had to keep bouncing back, and it just did not feel very. It wasn't paced out very well. And, like, and then, but the, because there's so much, it also feels so bloated. Like, I kept looking, and I was like, man, we're only an hour into this. <laughs> like, there's, like, two hours left. Like, that's, like, kind of crazy. I mean, the visuals can look good as long as as long as long you want, but, like, it, a lot of those things are going to keep, like, popping up when you watch this movie. Like, I don't know if I'm, I would maybe rewatch this. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I enjoyed it that much. And I would definitely wait a while to rewatch it. Because it's just, like... It's such a long movie, and it's just so not worth it the way it's, like, formatted. Yeah. So many moments are so weird. Um, a lot of the dramatic moments, I couldn't really care, um, which, I mean, do, so do, do, like do a, you want to... They have, like, get... a sad scene of them just brutally murdering a whale and, like, its calf. And I was like, this is so funny. Do, yeah, I'm like, it's, like, what? ten minutes long. Why? <laughs> Jemaine Clement was in it. That was surprising, and I liked that. Uh yeah. He's a uh, he was half a flight of the Concords. That's how I know him. He's also voiced the crab in Moana that uh, sings the shiny song, like Shea Frillas. You know yeah, him? Know. Yeah. Now, what character was he in the movie? He was the like scientist, a part Three of the, a part of the whale. Yeah, part of the whale hunting. Uh, who, who like hated did what he was die? going on? No, the, he they never really show what happened to him because after the, the guy that they, they he got his arm chopped off was like. The, Whaling guy. He was like the whaling guy, and the other guy was the marine biologist. Which they never really showed what happened. That the boat just crashed, like, and that was it. Like them. In fact, they didn't show what happened to really any of that crew. So I guess kind of spoiler territory. But then, like that whole ship, they they bring down that whole ship. Yeah. And then, like, what happened to all of them? Because we know what happened to the antagonist because Spider saved him, and he gets away somehow. In the third movie. But then, why does Spider save him and just leave him? I thought Spider was gonna go with him. Yeah, he kept flip flopping because I, I remember hearing that criticism and right, and then like and then, and then the he called him character. son there, and it's like what he's probably the worst. He because at one point yeah. he also said you're not my son because he's not because they they could have really went into that because he kept being referred to as like a copy, but with all of his memories except his death. But then like they just kind of dance around death, it, and then like it's not a thing, and then like they, I thought they were gonna explore that a lot. They just kind of danced around it, which is a missed opportunity in my mind. And with a movie that long, I mean, come on. I guess, I guess he's gonna be in the third one so I guess the only interesting thing for Jake will be that so it's just kind of whatever and then like they fight and then like they're both just so brutally exhausted they just can't like escape right it's like they seem fine <laughs> it's just weird and then like and then are we just gonna keep going back to the same antagonist with each movie or like what see like where's the story gonna go from here <laughs> this is what uh, I need the charger that's what I don't understand there was that I'm gonna say I explain there you go so it's very weird um i guess yeah well i mean fully going into spoilers there were obviously a lot of emotional moments 
that tried to be emotional. The only one that really got to me was when the oldest son passed. I mean, that that got me a little bit. I was still kind of like... I was more sad about the whale's backstory. <laughs> I know, the whale's backstory was, was super like, sad. Horrific. That was actually probably the that, that, like, that, most well-executed scene was the whale in the final. Yeah. That was, just disappeared. And that was just gone. Whenever it was like drowning. Yeah. It just came back. And it had to show up again. It's just plot convenience, which was very clearly there. Um, the relationship between, I think it's Moak, that's how you say that kid's name, the, the, the names, dude, oh my god, uh, but Moak, um, and the whale, whose name was Pole something, who was, a, who, was a, who was a, who was a toondock, who was, like, he got <laughs> banished because, like, all of his family died in front of him, yeah, he was, like, injured, and so, so, so they considered it a killer whale, or whatever, or killer toon, whatever, and then they were, like, and then he bonded with it, but then, like, he got in trouble, so he was constantly in trouble. It was like, why Why did the that dad... That family came over and, like, everything went back for that community. Literally. There was, like, trouble everything. Like, just ruined everything, yeah. And they, like, they literally tried to kill the child, the, like, the three kids or whatever. Yeah. They, like, <laughs> goaxed him into... Try... He almost died. Yeah. Because <laughs> that whale just wasn't there. Because I know they're not whales. And the characters are all so stereotypical because they get bullied because they're different. It's like, oh my god, you have an extra finger? Fucking faggot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> but then, like, the, the like daughter of the chief is, of, of course, she's, like, the nice one that, like, the, 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 the boy likes. And it's like, come on, dude. It's, like, so generic. Yeah, what did the fingers thing mean? If they had, what, was it normal for them to have four fingers? Yeah, they normally have four. But then if they're five, they're, like, weird. Be- because, yeah, because, um... Because Sully's avatar is five because he's a human and an yeah, avatar. Didn't one of his kids have four fingers and the other one didn't? I think they all have five. So it was just a scrawny weaver one that had four? I think she is. Because they never five, also two. say who her father was. I think she also has five. But yeah, they don't they don't reveal the father because that'll be a plot point later, I assume. But also, what makes her so different? Because that was like her whole plot arc is that she... So what she, happened to Scooney she, Weaver's character in the first one? Did she die? But her avatar's still alive? Because like, well, she was just in like... So she was dying and then they put her in the chamber... Or no, the Avatar was put in the... Wait, no. <laughs> See? <laughs> you watched the first one. You I don't wa- even know what happened. I watched it like three days ago. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. But like... Oh, Kiri, her name's back. Kiri. Yeah. She's like... Because her whole thing is like, why am I so different? Like, why am I a freak? But what's so different about her? Other than the fact that she's played by a 70-year-old. But like, like what, what makes her so different? She looks like the other ones. She acts like the other ones. And why is, like, the little human child, like, almost superhuman just because he hangs out with them? Right, like, like that doesn't make like, any sense. Critical Falls. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> he literally He's should. also called Spider. And I think it's spelled with a Y, too. Like, it's like, like, like literal Sean's shirt. I think so, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sean's shirt. From, like, ninth grade. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. That, like, whole dynamic was really weird. And how, like, it, so it's kind of, like, portrayed early on that, like, uh... What's her name? Natiri? What's the mom's name? I think so. <laughs> Give me a pull by IMDb. <laughs> Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Gamora's character. character who was like, I'm tired of playing these makeup characters. I know. She's still doing Stop it. it. But like, so she was like, they, they should be with their own kind or whatever. So she was being racist towards racist. like the, the, the human which her which husband is. The villain was also racist. Yeah. He's like, you killed one of your own kind in the first movie? And then he's like, human child, you're not my kind anymore. Right, yeah. It's like, like, what? Who are you? You're just racist all the time. <laughs> Um, so then, but then they brought that up, like, in the beginning, and then later on, she, like, threatens to, like, like, kill him to, like, get him to save the daughter, but then they never talk about that again. Like, she's got a knife to his throat, who's, like, a, a family friend, basically another child. And then, traumatic. And then they just never talk about it again. It's just like, whatever, I just did that, it's fine. <laughs> That's why I thought when he brought his dad up, he was gonna go with them. Yeah. Because his life was threatened. Right. And, like, he saw the footage of him from the end of the first one. Yeah, and then he goes back, and then, um, Sully embraces him like his son, like another one of his kids, and it's like... That probably And then he says a son for a son. I was like, what do you mean? So now he's your son? Wait, are you just, like, fine with your son? <laughs> your son's dead. The mom screamed for, like, two minutes, and that was it. Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> so that's what I mean. There's just a lot of... And I'm confused, because are they just going to live at the water place for the next movie? Like, there's going to be more ocean yeah, stuff? Yeah, because they were like, we'll leave. Is the whale going to be evolved? Because they were like, what? They're like, they're like, yeah, he was like, your wife was right. We, like, brought nothing but, like, torment to the society. We'll leave. And then he was like, you're one of us now. Your son got buried here. You I'm going to cry in the next one. They just kill off the whale because they're just like, oh, he's soul bonded to it. So now the only way to move forward is just to kill everyone. It's. I mean, I knew a death was going to happen to raise the stakes. And if I had to guess, I would have guessed that character because the other one was having the arc about who was trying to live up to him. Which was weird. <clears throat> I don't know why. Because there was also a little little girl who was pointless. Yeah, she was literally just the liability of the whole movie. Which and like at the end, they're like, just well, like, all the women are locked up. Let's go get them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. The daddy save them while the mom runs around and drowns. 
And then there was like a five minute speech from the son to the dad. He was all like, hey, just breathe. Oh, let's go. <laughs> the way of water is no beginning or end. I was like, that's why the movie's so long. This is the this way is of water. This is longer than the first one. Yeah, like half by like hour. half an hour. Yeah, this one's going to be like nine hours long. I don't know how long it's going to be, but they're not going to let him release that nine hour cut theatrically. <laughs> Because he said you wanted to maybe do a, like a three hour cut for theaters, but then on streaming, it's like, oh, watch the special nine hour cut, which is three times, which is like long. five more acts of film. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like two other movies. Like it's like that could be four and five. <laughs> you could just end it with third one. That's why he literally meant. He's like, yeah, after three could be the end, or it also continue on because I literally just filmed all three scripts. Because <laughs> I literally and filmed it after three. I literally filmed all of it. And just That's why six and seven development. They're the actual four and five. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It's like it actually <laughs> crossed over with the Alien franchise in the fifth film, and then crossed over with Terminator in the sixth. Where's Piranha 2? And then it all leads into Titanic. Piranha film. franchise is going to come back. See, Piranha 2 had flying fish in it, and, and this, this had flying, flying fish. fish. You think that's a reference? I mean... They also kind of look like Piranha with their teeth. Come on. I mean, a little bit. I mean, come on. Like, it's, it is. He like, just loves the fucking ocean, bro. <laughs> he does. I'm what? surprised he never went to the it's ocean. Understandable. It's just understandable. I love the ocean, too. Yeah. I'm literally a marine biology major. Yeah, like, it definitely makes sense. It's very cool. Um, I'm just curious what he's going to really do to make this five films. Yeah, like, this, the first one seemed like it was the end of a story. Now, this one feels like the end of a story. Because, well, there's one of these movies that, like, says flying, so was one of could be, like, all in the air. <laughs> yeah, what? Going <laughs> so to space or something. It's going to be Fast and Furious. I regret saying that. Like, what are, is it just going to become about the kids eventually? And then they have kids? Like, it's just going to be a whole fucking Well, because mess. they're supposed to be all filmed together so that the kids stay young or whatever. So, like, is Jake Sully literally just going to be alive for five movies straight? And then just, like, really, that's the main character for the whole series? <laughs> Jake Your Sully. life journey is about Jake Sully. <laughs> James, Mr. James Cameron. You made such iconic characters, and I cannot for the life of me give a shit about any of these characters. <laughs> Except the whale. I like the whale. He was cool, I guess. It's just so weird. He's like, oh no, he got stabbed. Um, Take it out of him. Th- th- there's a lot of pandering moments, and it's just... Well, there was the cool moment. It was cool, but it was just didn't make any sense how the, the whale conveniently took out the guy's arm that also conveniently was, like, the leader of the whole operation. Yeah. And it's like, oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I was like, oh, cool. You know, he's directed such beautiful scenes as when Arnold went down in the vat and gave the thumbs up to goodbye. I just want to watch T2. <laughs> Honestly, have you seen yeah. the steelbook I have for it? It's so good. Do you have it? No, what? No, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Let me find it. <laughs> what? It's actually probably like the best steelbook ever. <laughs> it's like sparkles. Now I want to have it. Like, I don't <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then when you take it out. Oh yeah, isn't it like... That is like one of the best steelbooks I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That's actually incredible. We should just watch T2. <laughs> it's in 4K. I haven't seen it in 4K. That'd be amazing. I've heard his movies are pretty good in 4K. I assume so. It sounds like a James Cameron thing. Sounds like, sounds like something he'd be like back in the 80s. be like, these are going to be really good in 4K. Then I have Terminator Genesis on, four, on Steelbook. You have a Steelbook of Terminator Genesis. You just lost all credibility. I did. You just lost it. Put it, put it back. Movie. Put it back. I don't want to see it. I own Dark Fate for something. Like Why do you own Dark Fate? I have the five. <laughs> I'm gonna have to own the Dial of Destiny and the Indiana Jones franchise. I have the other Still four. Work. So stupid. Hopefully it's like really bad, so I'll be fine with it not being in the collection. Because Kingdom of Crystal Skull is like bad, but it's not like that. It's not like a Spielberg movie, I guess. Yeah, that, that, at the very least. <laughs> Speaking of Spielberg movies, really quick, have you heard about the Fablemans? I heard it came out like nobody saw it, and now it's like directly on POD, but it has like like eleven Oscar nominations or something. Yeah, it's like so widely beloved. Like yeah. on Letter- on Letterbox, it's like a four point two average. It's insane. Yeah, nobody really cares about Steven Spielberg movies anymore. YMS gave it a five, so I'm like, okay. out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll check it out. Uh, <laughs> Did you see they're actually filming Saw Ten? Yeah. Tobin Bell. It's like another prequel. I think it's in between two and three. What? But Saw 10. Which means it's a sequel to Jigsaw and Spiral, technically. Even though I thought they said Spiral was its own thing, now it's Saw 10. But they said there will still be sequels to those other two. Which Jigsaw is also a prequel, pretty much. 
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Saw Ten or Avatar Three? I think like nine hour cut. Yeah, because yeah, Saw Ten comes out next year, and so does Fast Ten, which they're both just like the X's. It's like yeah, Saw X, Fast yeah. X. It's just like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is so dumb. <laughs> um. Are we still about Avatar? Yeah. I got like five. I mean, it's like it's probably a five and a half, something like that. Because it's not like a mid movie, because it's nice to look at. I mean, it looks beautiful, but like it just has a lot of issues in its script. Like it's just really clunky, and especially for the weight. The performances are. This feels like a sequel they would have like pumped out after like a few years. Yeah, the performances leave a lot to be desired. The dialogue is terrible. Because there had to have been different scripts. There's no way he envisioned like this, like big by time jump. Yeah. The overall direction is obviously fine. Has no plan. I, I've seen Cameron do a lot better. I mean, that's why it's like like Piranha Two. Yeah, like Piranha Two, the spawning. Um, it's just like <laughs> I enjoyed it. Is and, and is it worth James is Cameron it worth three probably. and a half hours of my day? Not really. Especially in a blizzard, there was actually like five people in that theater. I know it was. There was, few, there was like yeah. by themselves too. I was like, you guys came by yourselves in a blizzard. To see Avatar. That was probably it was probably their second viewing for all. <laughs> Like, honest. I mean, I guess it's a blizzard, so why not go to a heated place to watch a movie? But yeah. It's just I don't know. I blizzard. mean, I enjoyed it. 13 years of hype, I guess, uh, for a movie that ultimately I'm going to give probably a 5 out of 10. It's closer to a 6 than a 4. Um, yeah. And, like, I enjoyed it. It's not, like, bad, but it's just, like, yeah, I'd probably give it a 5. It's probably my 30th favorite film of this year so far. Seen a lot of movies this year. Um, yeah, I don't know how excited I would be. I mean, I'll, I'll guess I'll watch all of them <laughs> if they're coming out. I guess so. <laughs> I really hope they're not so long. I hope it they isn't. Probably the, will I, just be three hours. A year. If they keep getting longer, then that's gonna be a problem because that's just not gonna work for me. It's not gonna work for movie theaters. <laughs> they're not gonna make money. Yeah. That's like yeah. A th- if it's a nine-hour movie, like if he actually convinces them to release it, so that's like the entirety of their like operation day. It's nine hours. Literally, yeah. They'll close down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Avatar three. I literally won't be out until you guys close. I'll be out four times to get more food. What's even crazier to me is that he wants a not, he wants full VF, VFX for the nine-hour. Which I guess if I was a VFX worker, I'd be like, well, I'm getting paid, but a nine-hour movie. <laughs> like, are you serious? This could be painstaking. That's like, look, I got, I do my job for the money, but like that yeah, probably, th- like a, probably the worst project. Like two thirds of this will never be seen by the majority of the people. Yeah. <laughs> like I could devote months to this shot, and it won't be in it. I could devote months to like hours of this movie, and it just won't be in it. Just I don't know. It's I mean, just and, and if the nine hours is crucial, how are you going to cut that down? Right. If all of it's crucial. And how is it crucial? And how so, yeah. I thought the Snyder Cut was <laughs> taking it too far. It was four hours. <laughs> this is double that. How are you going to, like, keep... How is he going to... How is there more story to tell? He's insane. I don't get there's more story to tell. He's insane. It seems like... Because they, they've left the thing with, the uh, okay. Kiri... <laughs> left the thing with Kiri's, like, father and, like, trying to connect to her mother or whatever. And they tried to have the Empire Strikes Back moment of the villain's like, come with me, son. And he's just like, no. And he's just like, no, I'm left. Dive with, like, a character that nobody cares about. And then it was also just that moment because, like, because Kiri, like, she attached her hair to the thing. And, like, she had, like, a seer and almost died. Never gets brought up again. Because, well, yeah, so they, they, they brought she up these things barely. And, like, uh, mentioning them, like, once or twice. So then when the sequel comes out and it becomes more of a plot point later, it's like, oh, yeah, I guess that was a thing. It's like, I don't care about that, though. Because early in the movie, she's, like, laying down and, like, the earth is, like... Oh, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you don't remember that, do you? <laughs> I do exactly, now. Yeah. I was like, why is that there? And then, like, she had a seizure. I was like, why is this important? And then, yeah, like, so then, so then because she could feel the earth, feel the, feel Awa. What? I but because then she was talking about her mother at one point. Who's Awa? Like, I can feel her move. Is Awa the forest? Heartbeat. I don't know. Or is it the... Because then the Avatar 5 is apparently called the quest for Awa, which does that mean it's... Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. So, because I think the fifth one's called the quest for Awa, which would be a dumb thing for it to just be a quest for Scorny Weaver. So I'm gonna look up Avatar cast. Uh. I know Awa obviously wasn't the name of Scorny Weaver's character. Maybe it's the name of her avatar. 
Didn't Sully's avatar have a name? So wouldn't he go by that now? Or is he not? Is it just Jake? Might have two different ones. I don't... On IMDb, it just has their human names. So is Awa the forest? Or no, is Awa, like, is Awa, like, the Pand- like, the heart of Pandora? It might be. That might be what the last one's about. See, it shouldn't be this confusing. <laughs> yeah, it should, like, understand pretty much well into the first movie. Um, so it's just, like, it just feels like a, an incomplete, bloated movie, which is really frustrating. Which, obviously, those incomplete parts will be brought up later, since it's two of five. Um, but it's also, like, what? It just all feels kind of pointless. Um, anyway, I would probably give it, like, a five out of ten. I did enjoy it. It, I, it was worth it. I know a lot of people have been enjoying it and will continue to enjoy it, and I think that's awesome. So I'm happy that it exists, honestly. Um, but just a five from me. Uh, much worse and much better out there. Um, the first Avatar, uh, is, I definitely like better. Um, they're, they're close to the same level in like a lot of ways, but I would yeah, definitely give the edge to the first Avatar. So, oh, man. Okay, so Awa is the biological sentient guarding force of life of Pandora. So it's like a god or whatever. Okay, that's what it is. All right, cool. So I guess you're See, right. It's the forest. Because she was all like, because she, she could feel it, and then like she, it's it feels mighty or something, and like I don't know. And then and then he told like the doctor guy, and he was like, oh yeah, that's epilepsy. Totally epilepsy. It's like what is going on? Uh, yeah. I don't have much more to say about this. I don't really recommend it unless you want to watch it. Yeah, if you want to watch it, definitely check it out. I mean, pe- people that like it will love it. Like, they'll, they'll definitely love it. Yeah, but if you want, it's we can talk about hours. Rick and Morty for a little bit. Because I'm more caught up. You all caught up? More. I haven't more watched caught up. <laughs> right. Okay. So I watched up to episode 9. So, okay. So I guess, I mean, full minute. Me- episode 7 was, it was the one right after the... Full Meta Jack Rick? Yeah. Was it the one with Jerry where he becomes, like, important? Like a superhero? That's Analyze Piss. That episode's great. It's this great, was the meta one. Great episode. Yeah, the meta episode. How'd you feel about that one? From what I remember, there was a lot of good jokes. Yeah. And like, all the characters that were, like, rewind <laughs> or whatever. Or it it's, was, like, it, plot contrivance person. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> there was one that was a retcon. It was like, I retcon that you exploded. <laughs> I it, wasn't it like wasn't it like I'm retcon he was like wasn't it just retcon that's also yeah. a name he was like it always has been because <laughs> he kept retcon it is retcon it always has been he was like he's too powerful <laughs> they can't let him out <laughs> but that one was really funny I really enjoyed it um what was the one after that that was the analyze piss one yeah analyze piss yeah analyze piss that episode was great incredible like episode one. great episode one of my um, favorites a lot of different ways uh it was it was probably the best of the season. Um, the finale yeah, episode nine was yeah. probably the weakest so far that I've seen. Yeah, episode, episode nine was like kind of funny, but it was also kind of like it was a weird Morty centric yeah. one about cutting off his penis for twenty minutes. Yeah, and then it was funny when they kept saying you have to go through this sensor. And then it was also an emergency one, right? <laughs> to see if you have nano dick. And they're like, is there a third one? And he's like, can I see it? And he's like, no. After. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, but Analyze Piss is great. Uh, it's um, it's like kind of an in-depth look at Rick's character and some growth that he has. Uh, and also, it's a, uh, it has some great moments for like other outside characters. Like Jerry's arc in that episode is really good. Um, what happens with Morty is pretty good, even though it's kind of like shoved to the side. But that's kind of like a part of the point. Uh, there were a lot of Morty-centric episodes this season. Yeah. So. Seeing Rick at the spotlight was awesome. Uh, it was overall uh, funny. It had some gross out humor, which is like I'm not. I'm not usually a big fan of that, but um, I still really, I really love that episode. It probably, it probably my favorite of the season. If not, it's up there. Which is weird because it's called Analyze Piss, but <laughs> you know how it goes with Rick and Morty sometimes. Yeah, faux show. And then I haven't seen the finale, so. Yeah, you'll see it, and you'll know. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's not on par with other Rick and Morty finales, like the good finales, but. That's too bad. It's definitely better than the bad finales, like season two and 
Yeah. Season two, didn't season two have a good finale? Where Rick got locked up. I know season three is what I'm saying, right? It was just a present that episode. Yeah, seasons one and three. So you probably had like the worst one. Yeah. I was like, what is this? Yeah, I always get it mixed up. It's like because see, because season one, and th- definitely season three is just like. But season four and season five were really good. Really good finales, yeah. And I like season two, except that season three just immediately undoes it. Yeah. But the first episode, and season one was just kind of okay. Yeah, season one's just the season one. It's just an eleventh episode. Yeah. It's just like, okay. And they're like, oh, it's over. See you next time. And it's like and three years later. One. And like three years later. We're back, Morty. Ray and Morty. Analyze piss, Morty. Yeah, but I finished the first season of Barry. Barry's really good. Barry's good. Great show. Uh, I started season two, and I can already tell it's going to get better. Yeah, it does get better. It's fantastic. And I know season four is coming out next year. Yep. So I saw they're like, Harley Quinn 4 and Barry 4. Everybody's like, peak. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I think I think season four of Barry's also the f- last season. I think I heard. Sure. I'm really excited for season four of Harley Quinn. Bill Hader is so good. I didn't think he'd actually be serious. Oh yeah. yeah he looks really Bill Hader is a great actor. Um, when he when he when he has the right direction, he's pretty good. Which is true with a lot of comedic actors. Whenever they do. I know he never finished Peacemaker, but John Cena was actually surprisingly really good in that under James Gunn. But then, like in Fast Nine, he was. Atrocious. Wicked bad. Bumblebee yeah. is bad too. Yeah, he was really bad in Bumblebee. Basically everything. He's bad in everything except for that probably. Yeah. I liked him in the Suicide Squad as a comedic piece, but then he kind of gets serious for his last like couple moments in the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, and then like in Peacemaker. There's a good mix of that. Yeah. It. Which I don't even know if that's continuing now. Because it's the yeah. DC thing. I think there might be a season two, and that's it. Which is like cool. <laughs> Well, what's, what's, James Gunn's the head of DC now, so what's he gonna? Is he still gonna work on projects too? Well, he still has to promote and finish up Guardians Three, and he's like making plans for DC also. Yeah. I don't know why he did this all right now. Yeah, it's just weird. Should have waited like another year. <laughs> I guess they tried to get Todd Phillips to do it first from Joker yeah. to head DC. Mm, that'd be horrible, did a but... random movie just, and just put Joker in it so he can make money. Yeah. And so it would get watched, and he's like, "No, why would I do that? This is a mess." <laughs> Yeah, no. I'll just do Joker 2 and leave. He's like, please, enough. So he's making Joker 2. Did you see the first a few like images from Joker 2 came out? Yeah, I'm, com- I'm really confused. Like, I'm excited, but I'm also terrified. Yeah. So, if, because if it's bad, with the Joker character, if so. it's bad, it's going to make the first one, like, just, it's going to be like, I'm always going to remember it. Right, it's going to be upsetting. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so James Gunn, and, like, he's already, like, cutting ties with a lot of, like, the bad boys, which is good. Everyone was like, oh, no, Wonder Woman's gone. Gal Gadot's gone as Wonder Woman. I'm like, Have you not heard, apparently, what the yes. plot of that was going to be? What? They were going to bring back Steve Trevor again. Why? Because I think Patty Jenkins wants to have sex with him or something. Because she also was going to do a Star Wars movie, and she wanted Chris Pine to, like, desperately be the lead. And he just kept saying, no, I don't want to do Star Wars. And she's like, but I wrote this for you. <laughs> be in it. I want to have sex with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. And there was some rumor that they were going to have Chris Pine's child of Wonder Woman be Green Lantern. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Why does Chris Pine need to be in this? I thought he was just going to be in the first movie and oh, that's it. completely different characters. Chris Pine's going to be in Dungeons and Dragons. It looks so bad. Which looks really bad. I don't, that's like the, why that's why I don't movie? give away like movies about that. That's like why? a, that's your, literally your own adventure. Right. That's like the stupidest thing ever. And like Michelle Rodriguez isn't like a starring role in it. And I'm like, what? Yeah, Michelle Rodriguez. She can't act. If she's ever a starring role in anything, it's horrible. She's been like in what? Riddick and Fast and Furious, I think. She was in... And Machete, I think. Yeah. <laughs> machete kills. I don't know. That's machete funny. ends. Probably other stuff, too, that I'd never want to watch. It's just like... <laughs> like, what's the point? Yeah, because they, they brought back Henry Cavill and then immediately fired him. And it's like the saddest thing dumb. ever. Because I felt so bad for him. Sorry, you just reminded me that I've seen Machete. I'm just kind of like... Kind of reeling. <laughs> I, I don't know if they ever... They kept saying they were going to make Machete in space. I don't think it ever happened. Thankfully, no. It didn't. He's like 80 now. Yeah. <laughs> Because he's in Breaking Bad. I don't know if you've gotten that far yet. He's in Breaking Bad for like two episodes. I don't think I've gotten that yet. Yeah, I, knew, I knew he was in the show at some point. He's a fucking brutal death. It's fucking horrific. <laughs> um, Henry Cavill. Feel bad for him. Because he was pretty good at Superman. Because he also quit The Witcher to come back to be Superman. <laughs> yeah. And then got fired again. And, then, yeah. and now he's like doing some Warhammer movie. Yeah, That's some video game. Warhammer, yeah. I don't know what that game is. <laughs> It's like, it was originally like a game with like figurines, so it was similar to Dungeons and Dragons. And then it became like its own thing. And now they're making like a show. I think it's a movie. Or maybe it's a movie. 
I, I, I don't know. I can't keep up anymore. I know he's a big gamer. <laughs> just I know there's a whole video on YouTube where he just builds a PC at his house. Henry Cavill? He's just chilling. Just building a PC. He's like, I'm just building my new PC, guys. And somebody asked him, he's like, are you Xbox or PlayStation? He's like, PC, you fucking pleb. <laughs> what? <laughs> just like a big gamer, I guess. Superman is a gamer. He's also not even married, and he's like so attractive. That is weird. Yeah. Usually, no kids. Usually just assume Neither is Chris Evans. Chris Evans isn't married? He's like, I remember like in all like the interviews with like when he was in Avengers, everybody was like talking about their family and their kids, and Chris was like, I have a dog. He's <laughs> oh, doing <yeah>. good. <laughs> he's like, I have no love life. He's like, I'm literally best friends with Scarlett Johansson, and I haven't even had sex with her. They've been like best friends since like the 90s or something. Yeah, they've been friends for a long time. I was like, I thought they would have got married. I know, not, right? not her and Ryan Reynolds. No. Isn't Scarlett Johansson with someone now? Oh, she's with Colin Jost. The SNL guy. And they're married and have a kid now. It's like, what? <laughs> Colin Jost is funny, but like, what? Nicole's like funny guys. I guess. Yeah. It's like Mason is a really bad woman. She's like, he's so funny. Let me ruin him. <laughs> 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 Compared to something the other day, he was like, This is horrible. This is worse than my taste in women. <laughs> I was like, Damn, bro. <laughs> really using comedy to mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Did your Venom 3 might be introducing the symbiote god? I'm walking out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess there was that Spider Verse poster that came out, and everybody's like, Look, all these Spider Men are going to be in it. Well, yeah. PS4? You see that there's going to be six distinct animation styles? I know that, that's one of the most exciting things. I'm so excited for Ghost of Spiders. I literally will. I'm going as as early as I can possibly go to that film ever, like as possible. I'm going. I'm going. I cannot wait. It's like that one where it's like me to my like <laughs> me to my wedding, and it's just like in his pajamas. Me to the Cross of Spider Verse premiere, it's like in his tuxedo. <laughs> I love those. The one that was like. It was like, me to my grandma's funeral, me to the Minions Rise of Gr- <laughs> It was like... <laughs> the summer of 2023 is going to be hype. Across the Spider-Verse, Oppenheimer. Barbie. Barbie, I guess. Guardians 3. That's well, yeah. May. Yeah, yeah. That's, early, that's basically early summer. Also, Indiana Jones. Indiana five. Jones 5. And then March has Scream. March has Scream. April and has the Mario movie. February has Ant-Man and... Cocaine bear. And cocaine bear. January is Megan. Yay. Uh, Can't wait. I think somebody said if they, if they make a sequel, wait. they should do like a space in between me and Gan and like put an S at the end. It's just like me Gans. Like me again. And I was like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> they shouldn't do that. Titles are starting to get to me. Like, A Christmas Story Christmas. Scream 6 with a 6 and the M. <laughs> Which is better than what they were going to do. Scream with the two exclamation points. Exclamation points, that, that would have been so dumb. But now it's just like, okay, so Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, Scream, Scream 6. It's like... That was the next one be called. Why don't you just call it Scream 5? Come Isn't on, the man. whole point they don't do that is because if they put more numbers on the end, they think people are going to go to it because they're like, well, I haven't seen the other ones. Right. So when you title it, just scream, people are like, oh, it's a new, it's like a remake or whatever. Right. And they just walk in and it's the fifth one. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, well, that was the whole point. So why would you call this one Scream 6? That just defeats the whole purpose. There'll probably so, be some joke about it. It's going to be dumb. I'll probably still do it, though. I'm a sucker for the Scream franchise. Scream 3? <laughs> <laughs> Scream 3. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a Scream 3 still book. I will actually punch you so hard. Like, I'm not kidding. I hate Scream 3. I hate Scream 3. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I, hate it so I much. guess compared to Freddy Dead, Freddy's Dead, it's better. Okay, yeah. And like, Friday 8. If you're comparing it to like Halloween 5, then yeah, I guess. <laughs> if you're comparing it to like, <laughs> like Jason Takes Manhattan, I guess it's not that bad. If you compare it to Scream 2022. Oh, okay. When I rewatched that movie, it was so much worse. I was like, oh. I haven't rewatched it in a while. You probably shouldn't revisit it if you have good memories of it. I saw it twice. Yeah. That was it. Oh my god. Like out of 10? 
I feel like most of screen movies, once you like know everything that happens and like have seen it, watching it again, unless it has like really good charm or nostalgia, like the first like two, yeah, it's just kind of you never really want to watch it again because the whole point is it's a mystery. So unless the mystery is yeah. really engaging, like the first one, and not just like the fifth one again. That was the biggest problem with the fifth one. It was just, like, the same plot. Right. Two killers again. Like, nothing different. Yeah. So I hope they finally do the cult thing that they keep trying to do. Where it's, like, that a cult of Ghostface. The actress who played Kirby in Scream 4 is coming back. Yeah, people were saying she might be the killer. And I was like, why? Matthew Willard. What he? Oh, yeah, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, so they just... And the guy that played PETA from Hunger Games is the security guard. Yeah. Also, they cast a few other people... And like other rules, nobody really notable. But Matthew Lillard as Purple Guy is a pretty good choice. Not what choice. I expected. I was expecting like Willem Dafoe. <laughs> That'd Honestly. have been funny. That'd have been hilarious. That guy's just in everything. So what's the uh, what's the director? Have they announced that? I don't remember. I've heard. I remember it was originally Chris Columbus, which would have been terrible. That would have been bad. Five Nights at Freddy's movie. They've been talking about for like. How long? Now? So it's like 2015. Uh, it's a girl called Emma Tammy, with an I. She has no record. But wait, she's made four things. One of them's a FNAF movie. <laughs> Emma. Oh wait, she made. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> this is her fucking. What is any of it? What is that? Oh my god, dude. Is that Mason? No, it's Justin. Well, we'll wrap up here soon. His day is also been texting. Yeah, I guess we'll wrap up soon, but there, there's some exciting stuff going on soon. The FNAF movie will be out probably 2026. So. Probably. Yeah. It's almost taken as long to make that movie as it's taken to make one Avatar sequel. And that's going to be like three in the next six years. I know. And it took him like double that time to make one. Avatar. I mean, The Last Airbender was the worst. Uh, I honestly yeah. thought it was never going to be made. Yeah. So it was just kind of weird walking into it. I was like, whoa. Well, it was weird because, like, because it was around this time last year they announced the release date, right? That they were like, it was going to be December of this year. It would be, you know, last week. So I feel like the original release date might have been in 2020, and then COVID yeah. happened, and I think they had to do some reshoots. Yeah, it was just weird because they were talking about it. It was like, oh, yeah, by the way, Avatar, like, 2, 3, 4, 5 happening. I was like, okay, sure. I was like, oh wait, no, Avatar 2 is actually happening. Like, it's confirmed that he's working on 3, 4, and 5. I was like, oh. Okay. Really? I thought it was just like a myth. I thought it was like the Snyder Cut. Like, it was a myth, but like, but then it actually happened. So, very weird. Um, I guess it'll be like a full flesh franchise. We'll see how 3, 4, and 5 compared to other 3s, 4s, and 5s, and 6s, and 7s. It's also weird. We got like four DC movies coming out next year, and all of them are not part of the new reboot. We do? Yeah, because just AM2 is still coming out, and then yeah, Aquaman 2, that. and yeah, then that yeah. Blue Beetle movie. Oh, yeah, Blue Beetle. And so what's up with that? Is The that, Flash. Is that... Blue Beetle, I think, is in theaters. Is that a part of the new... Is that not... I don't think so. Because I didn't know for sure that was... Because all those movies were before were being made before James Gunn was even... Like, he was probably making the Suicide Squad when they announced those. I don't know. That's all weird. Who knows with DC? It's... And then The Rock, like, basically quit... Yeah. Which is just like, he was, he took him like 15 years back. That was long <laughs> to make one Black Adam film, which is disgraceful for how bad it was. Oh, yeah. I didn't even finish it. Well, I, I, don't I don't even want to, don't finish I don't, it. don't want to see what the villain is because I know it's that demon thing. And like, this had no character and no presence of the film. It's just because they don't want to make Black Adam a bad guy. Yeah. What's up all these villain movies and they just like make them like anti heroes? I hate it. Joker was the only one that didn't do that. That was the best yeah, one yeah, by far. And it was easily the best one. So to stop doing that. And even that wasn't a masterpiece, so like stop. It still felt like it was missing a large thing. And now there's two another one. <laughs> With Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. We'll see you next week. I don't know, man. <laughs> Hopefully we can see the whale before next week. Yeah, I'd love to see the whale. We can um, talk about that. Maybe maybe we'll try to figure something out. Watch Black we'll Christmas, watch. maybe. I really want to watch Black Christmas. We gotta yeah. do that, so. Or at least watch the police the rest it. of the night. Do yourself. Do myself. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> 
I, I, we watched Monsters recently too. Really? It's good. Oh, yeah. It's better than a lot of the like older ones you watch. And it's like terrible. It's nice watching all the nostalgic movies, even when they're like bad compared when you're like two. Anyway. Jaws four. Thanks for listening. <laughs> if you enjoyed, uh, like, comment, like, subscribe, and subscribe. Do all the fun stuff. Whatever's going on, have a merry Christmas, happy holidays. Yeah, it's the last one for Christmas. So. If you're if you're somewhere where there was a lot of snow, like here, uh, stay safe. Drive safe. I like that Pepsi truck. Bundle up. Hopefully, have some good time with family. Um, Don't have a dead son. <laughs> <laughs>